Hello everybody and thank you for joining me for this week's draft video. Uh, this weekend's, or I guess it's going to be the next like 10 or 11 days, they're doing a ranked draft for Rivals of Vixenland. One of the things I wish they would do with this game, and they haven't really offered it up yet, is to do like a draft of my choice. So for now, the way they solve that is just by having a ranked draft of this flavor, just so that I guess their theory is that everybody should be on a level playing field zone. Um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and get into the draft now. We are in gold saving mode, so we got War of the Spark coming out here in about six weeks or so. We will use gold to enter this draft. It is for one set of rival, one set of rivals? Two rivals, one Ixalan. Okay, so we're going to do rivals first, and then we'll do Ixalan. I will go ahead and hide my camera just so nothing's in the way, and we can kind of take a look at the cards we're drafting here. I always look at the rare first because I'm kind of greedy. And I don't think Protean Raider is, is a great choice. It's not bad. It enters as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, but then we're kind of locked into um, those colors. Although red and green look like they're luminous bonds is strong in draft just because it's nice removal. <coughs> I think this is what we're on. Strength of the pack is cool, but that's a little pricey. Uh, I don't think we can pass up Illuminous Bonds for now, unless Protean Raider is something I'm not sure about, but we'll see what comes up. Yeah, dinosaurs are nice. I like Raging Regisaur a lot. We might be on for Naya Dinosaur, so let's go for it. Or, oh boy, Moment of Craving, too. This is good. Aquatic Incursion we don't need. Two Merfolk specific. I don't think Tribals are great in this. Unless they're Dinosaurs, because Dinosaurs are... Uh, Miss Cloak Herald is nice, too. But I can't I can't pass up Moment of Craving. This is very nice. I will need some bombs at some point. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to risk it and go for some early removal here. I'd really like to see a, a, a bomb or two now. I like Colossal Dreadmaw, that's worked out for me in the past. Cacophodon isn't isn't terrible. <coughs> Cherished Hatchling Nah. Legion Lieutenant, it's two vampire tribal. Yep, so I think we're either on Colossal Dreadmaw or Cacophodon. I'm gonna go with Colossal Dreadmaw. I like the trample. I don't really know what colors we're doing over here. And I do like Raging Regisaur. That's kind of nice. Mm hmm Yep, we'll go with Raging Regisaur. Forerunner of the Heralds? I don't think so. Mm -mm. Two casting, two four if it's if it's our turn. So not much of a blocker there. The Dinosaur Tribal is not, not too great. Forerunner of the Heralds digs for a, a Merfolk. But I don't really like that. I'm really looking for more bombs now. I feel like I've got some good removal. Um, maybe some more effective cards. Or if Highland Lake isn't isn't great, but I don't think there's any synergy like there is in the newer sets with the gates and all that. Sailor of Means is nice. <clears throat> yep, we'll do Sailor. No, that's it's not. And we're doing a five-color deck if we go into Sailor. You know what? Let's do it. Let's see where we land with this pack here, or the, really the next the next pack. Uh, I like flying, and this is in the white space. So Suncrested Pterodon has Vigilance if we control another dinosaur. Sun Sentinel just is a 2-2 with Vigilance. That's not bad. Uh, Jungleborn Pioneer. We could go like Merfolk, maybe. This is weird. This is weird, like Merfolk-colored draft deck, but I like Jungleborn, and I like that we could run into some other merfolks in both of these sets. Uh, Jungleborn is kind of strong on its own because it makes another creature, which is always nice, and I like Miss Cloak Herald. Anything that can't be blocked or flying is nice in draft because there's not a ton of removal. Shake the Foundation deals one damage to each creature without flying. That's not bad if we don't like other creatures. Uh, target creature gets plus two plus two on the turn when Jadecraft Artisan enters the battlefield. That's nice. And that's that's what we're on. Yep. Roska Relic is it doesn't look like it's too great. Mm -hmm. 
So Dinosaur Hunter is like Death Touch to Dinosaurs. That's pretty funny. River Darter can't be blocked by dinosaurs. This is interesting. This is an interesting choice here because there stands to reason to be quite a few dinosaurs. So I'm going to go with River Darter, plus we might have some Merfolk synergy happening. So I don't mind that so much. And I think we're on... Ooh, I like Jade Bearer. Yep. Maybe we'll just go straight up Merfolks and see what happens. All right. Just tends to work out that way. And we will get the negate, because we're on blue. Hardy veteran, which I don't really like in our Oscar Raptor. Okay, so we'll take some of these other... Oh, oh this is nice. But I don't think I'm going to be playing white and black. Right? I think... But I can't give up profane procession for five mana. Exile a creature? It's terrific. It's like this is bomb-worthy removal right here. Just It's gone. And I don't see anything else in this pack that, that would force me to like strongly consider other than Thrashing Bronodon is really good because it's 3 casting 3-4. But I like Profane Procession here. Even if it doesn't get used. Let's kick out the red. We're not going red. <laughs> I'm not afraid to go four colors. Form of the Dinosaur. That's Swatley. She's just hanging out. At the beginning of your upkeep, Form of the Dinosaur deals 15 damage to target creature. And that creature deals damage equal to its power to you. That's not a great card in draft. It's not enough control for this card to get to get pulled off. Sadistic Sky Marcher is Vampire Synergy, though it's not bad. Legion Conquistador is not bad in Constructed. Again, Snubhorn's getting Constructed, but not, not too good here. I think we're on Water Knot, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. And that's Water Knot is the blue version of Luminous Bond, so we're out of there. Storm the Vault. Whenever one or more creatures you control, they come to a player. Create a colorless. Okay, that's good because we have some unblockables. But then we have this big mana dump and nothing really to use it on. So I don't think we're on Storm the Vault. I really think we're on Miss Cloaked Herald again, aren't we? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to do this weird merfolk draft here. This is going to be silly. Dead Eye Rigger. This could be this could be bad, <laughs> but, but I'm going to do it anyway. Water Knots. We'll get a couple Water Knots now. Um, Jadecraft Artisan. Ooh, I like Moment of Craving again. And we need some removal. Maybe we'll do we'll splice in some black. We'll drop the procession, potentially induced amnesia. And there's Battlefield Exile. Target player exiles all cards from their hand face down. That draws that many cards. When it is just put it in the graveyard, return the exiled cards to the owner's hand. So this is actually good card draw for me. I could target myself with Induced Amnesia. It's not bad, but I don't like it more than another 1-1 one, one that's unblockable. There's not a lot of mass removal that'll happen. And I really like these merfolk that just come out of nowhere and start punching people. It's nice. And I think I can play five in a I'm going to roll these dice. I think I can do five, right? I like Aggressive Urge. It's nice. Ooh, Pride of Conquerors. But then I'm going white. I'm going to mix. I'm going to do black for these moments of craving, and I'm going to do green, blue, and black. That's Those are our colors. Uh, I like Foul Orchard. Jungle Creeper? I don't think so. Three casting, three, three. That comes back to your hand. That's actually not bad for what we're what we're on here. Um, and since we're doing a lot of creatures, Gruesome Fate stands to be pretty good. I'm going to play with this Jungle Creeper. We might might be able to play him. Cacophodon, Traveler's Amulet, I don't think so. Roska Relic. Mm, no, it's gain three life and draw a card and sacrifice it. So, I don't, maybe. Maybe. Okay. I like naturalize as removal over gruesome fate, and we're taking gruesome fate anyways. Okay, Coppola, Warden of the Waves. Funny how that worked out. Spells your opponents cast the target of Merfolk cost two more, and we're definitely taking them. Fiery Cannonade kills all of our Merfolk, so there's some removal we don't want to see. Uh, but it's on the table for everybody at this point. Um, for sure, we are on Coppola, Warden of the Waves. That worked out really well. 
Blood Craze Paladin. How funny. Dead Eye Plunderers. This is I like this image. It's kind of cool. Sunrise Seeker. Okay. So we've got a Shaper Apprentice, a two casting two one. That should be a one casting two one with flying. Um, a Merfolk that explores is interesting. Actually, I like this a lot. But Explorer figures be pretty strong. I don't think we like Gruesome Fate. Ixalan's Binding figures to be awesome, but we're not on Ixalan's Binding. We're going to grab the River Sneak. This is silly. This is shaping up to be quite silly. And the, and the Spell Pierce, right? This is just like... Draft the Mer, folks. Here we go. Another Spell Pierce. I like it. This is very strange. I normally would take like a Wild Growth Walker, but well, actually, that might be what we're on. Exile Target Creature Control. We're not doing Pirates, so the Pirate Effect there doesn't matter. I like the Miss the Five, but we're not playing White anymore. We've ruled that out. So we'll grab the Walker. He might not make the final cut, although I do have one Explorer creature. And in either case, he's a 1-3. I like the can uh, counter spell better and cancel. We'll roll with it. Ashes of the Aberrant. Hmm. So it removes the graveyard ability. Hmm, 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 hmm. If it's a vampire, but we're not playing white, I'm going to grab the rare just because I'm greedy. And that's how I do it. Jungle Delver, there we go, another Merfolk. So this is like super Merfolk synergy, which I like. Um, I like I like Verdant Rebirth until end of turn target creature when it dies so its owner's hands, we can cast it again. And it's also card draw if we end up using it. Three casting, three three and trample. Yeah, I can get behind this. Okay. We do have a lot of unblockable creatures. Um, sure strike is fine. Doesn't matter. But, um, New Horizons is usable, at least in a Demystify. Okay, so let's do the deck here. Demystify goes. Sure Strike goes. And we're at 50. Horoska Relic Jungle Creeper goes. Okay, alright, all, all these guys go. 17 mana, which I like, which I like. We'll turn the camera back on just so we can kind of see everything happen in real time here, right? Cool. I like the Siren Lookout because it flies, but I don't know that it's all that necessary because I do have a lot of unblockables in here. It also explores, which is nice, but it's kind of expensive. The Sailor's Out doesn't really fit our Merfolk theme all of a sudden. New Horizons is out. It's pretty pricey. So I'm going to cut the top end a little bit. Two Water Knots. River Darter. River Darter's out because we got... And we can play all five of these. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. So we got a nice quick start here. One negate. I wish I would have got the other one. But we do have two moments of craving. Hopefully four black mana sources is enough for those. It won't be. I'm going to get hosed by that. But but that's okay. How much card draw are we looking at? One. Don't need a hardy veteran. Two. It gets a counter, so I don't need a walker. Not a lot of card draw. Coppola doesn't do any card draw. He just kind of protects the merfolks a little bit. It's kind of nice, though, right? <clears throat> okay, so i got to cut two cards. I could actually cut the moments of craving, but I think these are going to be pretty strong in terms of getting some of those early creatures out. And I do have two of them, so I think they'll come in a little more handy. Target creature gets plus three, plus three. I won't need to trample because I do have five Miss Cloak Heralds and a River Sneak. And I've got enough Merfolk. I should get a Miss Cloak Herald on turn one. And then just be able to, to go to town and then save the other ones. I mean, I don't. they don't get any bigger with the Merfolk, but I do have uh, Jungle... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll keep the trample in there because I don't have a whole lot of uh, Merfolk that will sneak through. Jadecraft Artisan is nice, even though it's a four casting, but that's those little one ones will become three threes for a turn, so I like that idea. Hmm. Alright, so what do we take out? If I can get the river sneak out, 
That'll be nice. Jade Bearer is nice. I like that. I mean, I need to cut two. I don't need to. I don't need to cut two cards at all. I go with 42 cards. You know what? I'm going to do it. I feel like this is a cheap enough... I haven't really drafted a deck this cheap... I don't know, maybe in my life. Really, this looks like... My most expensive card is four. Normally I'm in the five and the six range. And this figures to be pretty quick. Although... I will be subject to some mass removal. Like Fiery Cannonade is in here. And if somebody got lucky with a dinosaur that pricks everybody for one, we're hosed. Let's see where we're at, though. There's only way, one way to get better at this, and I have not drafted in Rivals very often, or Ixalan very often. I think this is like the second time, and it's only in Magic Arena. I really wasn't playing Magic on paper at the time. Did take some time off. I came back right around, um... Right around, like, when Gideon, uh, like, Gideon of the Trials came out. Like, I bought the Gideon Planeswalker deck, and I'm super happy to, to play that deck again. But, oh, this is, this is sort of ideal. Even though we only have two islands, I'm going to keep it. And I'm going to go with uh, Miss Cloak Herald first. He can't be blocked, so now it's instantly a threat that needs to be answered, especially in draft. He can't just, just hope in there. Oh, this is terrific. River Sneak also can't be blocked, and I'm going to start pumping him up. So it's River Sneak's going to be a 3-3 three, three next turn. And then I can use Aggressive Verge to start drawing cards. Unless he's got, like, all the removal, all the white and black removal from, from these sets. See, he might have that. I'm going to try real hard to push rating and, and seal this this season. I don't know that. I mean, it's going to be tough. Oh, nice pull. That's terrific. <clears throat> I wonder if I missed any of these guys. Although this is going to be a race. Like I, I can already tell. He's going to attack me for three. Two, three. I'm going to... It's going to be a race either way. So here, here we go. Um... If I do a forest, I could do the Jade Bearer on the River Sneak. And the River Sneak gets plus one, plus one. Doesn't get a counter, just gets, it does get a counter from the Jade Bearer and till end of turn. And then I'll Aggressive Urge on the Miscloak Herald and draw a card. And my opponent takes five here, this is nice. So if he takes, if he doesn't attack with Vanguard, and he uses him as a blocker. I'm going to throw my Jade Bear at him because it's still, he's still a pretty nice attacker. Um, even as a 1 1 in this situation. Because if he blocks, he loses his Adanto, which is very strong to keep alive. Um, you know, he's going to pay for life. But the odds of him having some synergy with life gain really aren't there and sealed. And uh, I think the Merfolks are going to win. I think I go Artisan, and then hit him for, this will be three, hit him for six. This is pretty quick. Very happy with Merfolks right now. Too bad we didn't get like a Kumina, that would have been pretty awesome. As he just done for, like doesn't want to, doesn't want to do this anymore. Okay, I could go double Miss Cloak Herald. I think that's what we're on. I don't think there's any white and black mass removal. That's why I'm kind of gung-ho. Like, there's no Cry of the Carnarium in this set. Um, there is Settle the Wreckage, but he won't have the mana for that. And then I can still hit him for five. All right, but I'm going to attack with everything. If he blocks the Jade Bearer, that's... Yeah, pretty scary stuff. And then we'll do... Yeah, next game. And then my Jadecraft Artisan comes in and says, Hey, buddy, we're going to get plus two, plus two bigger. So that's kind of fun. Merfolks are for the win. My daily quest is to kill 15 creatures, and we didn't kill a single creature with that win. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Because <laughs> so I went all unblockable, you know? It, it, I'm not going to block and kill them. Okay. 
Okay, we go first again. We got our River Sneak, the Foul Orchard, the moment... Oh my goodness, this is... So I'm obviously going to get trounced in the last few games here because these draws are just too good, right? Is that what I'm faced with? Island, River Sneak, wow. And then we're going to... We're going to play a, a flying... Oh, it's not a merfolk. It's a, so, of course, it's a siren pirate. That's fine, but it, it still explores. Next turn. Uh, yeah, I can play a, a forest. That's fine. Save my moment of craving so I can kill a 2 2 or a 3 2. And there's no reason to wait. We're just going to go ahead and knock it out. Jungle Delver, who's going to grow and grow and grow. And we'll just get the Explorer going. We can't pump the Delver yet. Terrific. So I could pump the Delver. He gets a plus one, plus one counter, not just till end of turn. And I'm going to play my Mist Cloak. So there's the Mist Cloak. There's, yep, he gets bigger, there's my land, he gets bigger, and we'll just wait, and we'll attack with these two. And I don't think he's going to have any removal, unless he got a, unless he got a settle, that'd be pretty awesome on his part. But we're looking at one, two, three unblockable each turn. Unless I draw into another merfolk, then it's four. And if he taps out and I can swing him with a 3-3 three, three jungle delver... Oh, there he goes. We got some removal. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Hunt the weak. That's nice. Yeah. Obviously, I just went unblockable, dude. It's this is this is my strategy. If you've got, if he does the equivalent of one damage to all creatures, I lose. I lose out flying. Ascend uh, gets a plus one, plus one counter. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm okay with that. Nope, oh, I'm not gonna block. I'll take three this turn. That's fine. Terrific. Save some blockers. Save mana for a cancel. If no cancel, pump the Delver. This is this is okay. He's at seven, so he's got to be careful with his attack strategy at this point. And I have a counter spell. So this looks okay. The smart thing would be to attack with his Snubhorn Sentry. Okay, so he attacks with his Resplendent Griffin. If you have the City's Blessing, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. So he's going to have the City's Blessing forever, which is stinky. He holds... Yeah, he's got to be careful. He can't just attack willy-nilly here. We'll resolve the counter... Okay, so this could be... He's counting on me blocking with Jungle Delver and doing something to the Snubhorn Sentry, and I, and I know that, so I'm not going to block. He's counting on me doing this. He must have, like, a moment of triumph or something. Okay. I'm going to hang on to that island. Having the difference between five and six mana right now is negligible. Attack with three unblockables. We will keep them alive. Hopefully we can... Cancel whatever it is that he's planning on doing. We can kill the Snubhorn Sentry if he attacks again. We can block down the Spire Winder. It's a 4-5. We can block with our Siren Lookout. I can counterspell whatever kind of shenanigans he throws my way. And then I think I could attack with Jungle Delver next turn if I get the block off. 
He's got a baffling end. I have a cancel. I wonder if he also has a cancel or a negate in there. Maybe that was a bait. A bait spell. I hope not. So he attacks for seven. Does he have vigilance? It does not. No vigilance here. We're going to block. We're going to lose our dude. Because <clears throat> I don't want to take more than I have to over this. Okay, and if we draw some extra damage... Where? That's an island. Okay, not terrific. That's the game. Boy, we've lost. Son of a gun. Yeah, if I throw everything at him, he knows it. So maybe I can get him to go a little slower here. Yeah, the flyers. This uh, resplendent griffin is, is real strong. One away. Man. That was a pretty good draw, too. I'm kind of disappointed with that. Okay, well, yeah, that's fine. He gets bigger. I can't block. Okay, you win. Rats. That was a close one. Hmm. Can't lose rating at the bronze tier, but I gotta think the grind up to any kind of rating and limited is is brutal. Okay, so having I feel like that starting hand was pretty good. We do have counter spells. We got a couple spell pierces, which if they don't come early, they're not very useful. Mental note. Although I like having them. We are on the draw, and we don't have much to play, so this is going to be a mulligan, which is a little unfortunate, because we do have three land, but we'll mulligan and rely on the scry to get us somewhere. I like River Sneak a lot. Okay, we're going to mulligan, and oh, the same thing. Okay, we're going to rely on the scry. I don't want to go down to five. And if it's not a land, we throw it away, and we just hope that we can draw into a, an island. Maybe? No. Oh, this is stinky. Any luck? Okay, there we go. So not, not awful, but pretty bad. And then we can Siren Lookout if we don't get our second island. We'll do Siren Lookout just to get the Explorer train going. Dinosaur Hunter, that makes sense. So, oh, well, I've got to play a land anyway. So if it is an island... Yeah. Hopefully the flying, you know, it's a 2-3 flyer. Hopefully we have something here. I could water knot one day. I can't cast Coppola. <laughs> he got the... The primal dragon. Another mist cloak, but I feel like we're starting the race here. This is gonna be tricky to cast in, in draft. For one white? Slash of talons. Did not know that existed. Now I know. You may as well attack with him. Squire's Devotion. Lifelink? Yeah, back up to 20. Okay. So we really need that second that second blue source for a water knot on homie over there. Because this lifelink is gonna... This will prevent us from winning the race. wonder if I missed any of these, not looking at the white cards, because this would have been pretty strong, too. Even on, on Merfolks, who cares, you know, Squire's Devotion on them, sure, but... They would get plus one, plus one on Lifelink, and they can't be blocked, which is really nice. Yeah, no point in blocking, dude. I'm not, I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to do this. I will water knot that guy as soon as possible, though. 
There we go. Only pirates? Yeah, so this is not a pirate. Okay. That's good for now. I like that. Why wouldn't he have a demystify in his hand? This is an unbelievable... This guy must be good at, like, drafting this set. I'm not this good. Card draw, life gain. He's gonna do... Tezamok on my Miss Cloak now. Here it comes. And then when he casts him, when he enters the battlefield, so he must successfully enter the battlefield at least, so that's kind of nice. Although, he's got me. There's no way I can win this game. I mean, like, I can't. I can't even keep up with his damage. He attacks for three, six, life link. This is awful. I'm gonna have to block him down. Wow. It equips for one. I wasn't even looking at Strider Harness. That's pretty strong. Sort of like Marauder's Axe in, in Core 19. I have a feeling this is gonna be a one win draft. Now it's a 4-4. Four, four. It's a pirate. That's a pirate. Okay, so we're gonna have to gang block here. I do not think. Non-creature spell. Terrific. I'm hoping that Coppola triggers Tetsamok and he's got to pay two for each time. Maybe. I don't know. Abilities your opponents activate. Typically it counts as a non-activated ability and doesn't work. We will see. I, I, would, I would argue in favor of that, but... It's going to be risky. Any mana pretty much wins him the game right now. If he drops anything, he can play Tetsamok and kill. It's virtually a board wipe right here. Snubhorn, that's cool. So that cost him three mana. Yeah, he's got it. If I draw into a cancel, I did not. If I if I can get a counter spell before he gets another mana, maybe I could counter Tetsamok and, and be okay. Sun colored raptor, that's great. Snubhorn goes off, he gets his counters. Golden Demise, we're going to counter that. This is pretty much game though, right? I mean... I don't see a win condition here for us. This is He's at 18, he gained all that life early. Couldn't stop it. And we've got a forest that says, hey... You better respect us. Seven mana, so I can't put two counters on him this turn. I'm just going to be super, super timid and only send in the Mist Cloak Herald because he can't be blocked. So, yeah, the Mist Cloak Herald aren't working out all that great. Kind of fun to go with a the theme, though, like Merfolk's. Okay, here comes here comes Tetsamok. Maybe he's got to pay for this two each. Maybe? No. No. Okay, that's the game. <laughs> Rats. No, not an activated ability. Bronze tier 3. Ho-hum. One win so far. Not not great. And again, I'm not the best at uh, drafts, so trying to get better.
trying to get better. I do use some tools online. I looked at some of the ratings for these cards um, before I drafted. So, okay, here we go. We're we're on the on the play. We've got aggressive urge. We've got verdant rebirth. So two card draws and a river sneak, which I like. I like my river sneaks. I'm gonna go with an island first. I don't think there's anything I would want to pierce on turn one out of him. So it's just a. Uh, just something I thought I should do. Okay, so we'll go River Sneak, and hopefully I draw into an island, and then I can I can save my spell pierce to protect my dude. Unless he does a okay. <laughs> Are we serious with this? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be a moment of craving? Oh, he went vampires. Okay, that's pretty cool though. So we're gonna do aggressive urge just to get the card draw engine going. Like I need to get something. Okay, I can work with that. Now I've got a spell pierce. So if he does moment of craving with, you know, three mana, I can counter it. Although it's not all that strong. Does this guy lifelink? He does. Oh, that's terrific. Okay, so we're gonna have to water not the lifelink. He's probably got a demystify in there. Which is silly because demystify is pretty awesome. And then we can do if I get a black man I can moment of craving somebody, but. So a forecasting 2-2 with Menace that explores, that's kind of nice. Dusk Legion Zealots, that's pretty fun. Okay, I'm not blocking, I don't want to start a race with you for... Or give him a lifelinker, that that would suck. Verdant Rebirth. On my Jade Bearer. Right. So now we send them both in. And if he blocks my Jade Bearer down, I'm happy with that. Because then I can give my Miscloak Herald another counter, even though he might get the Life Linker out of it. Let's see what he does. He doesn't block. Okay, so he saw that coming. That's terrific. And we take some damage. Hmm, this game's not going so well either. Maybe Merfolk aren't the strongest tribal that they created in this set. Maybe it was vampires, or pirates, or dinosaurs. Or horses. I don't. I don't even know. I don't know. All right. So we're gonna have to combat trick moment of craving and like and like spell pierce something. This will give us some life, which is cool. Block with the jade bear. Keep swinging in for two, so I could I could resolve one of his three threes here. Oh, there we go. So now it's a five five. Okay, so no, 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 no. that's the threat. I already see it. Wow. Okay, this sucks. Dusk Charger is strong. Did not did not see that coming. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. That's his game. <laughs> Man. One good game. Only one. I, and, uh, okay, so I'm loaded up with counter spells I can't cast because my mana base is terrible. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Well, I'm just on principle we're going to counter spell that. No. Yeah, I'm the guy that takes spell pierces. Okay, we just, I'm gonna, what's the point? He's got me. We all know it. I could have blocked the five and the three and only taken three or whatever. It's no big deal. It doesn't matter. That game was over quickly. So one win in ranked draft. I mean, I got it. This is gonna take forever to rank up in draft if I don't go. But I did. Okay, so I got 100 gems out of the deal and two packs of Ixalan. So that's pretty cool, which I like. So I'm up to 2440 gems. The draft netted me about 3% into my new vault. Um... And I've got some packs open, so I won 
two packs of Ixalan. And I don't have a whole lot of these Ixalan cards, so I got a, a, a Fleet Swallower, which is a fish. Okay. It's a millfish. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's a millfish. So I've got to do some more drafting, particularly in, in Ixalan. The problem is it doesn't come up very often. Oh, thematic compass. That's kind of cool. Yeah. That's kind of cool. And a couple good wild cards. And maybe some vault progress. We won't open any uh, Ravnica Allegiance till tomorrow's video when I do my big pack opening. 8%. So, so yeah, the vault kind of climbs quickly, doesn't it, after a while? Which is which is cool. So we're at 10,000 gold and 24 or 40 gems. Uh, which, which does work. That works for me. So thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate it. Um... Good luck if you're doing this draft event out there. For me, this is one of the harder sets to draft in. Um, just because, you know, like the newer sets, it's obviously like guild specific. And then there's like Ixlan and Rivals. Like, I, I never really know what to do. So thanks for bearing with me. I appreciate it. Have fun playing.